Hello, Pete. Welcome to Comic Auction Session 3. Yes, Session 3. It is 9.59. In about 45 seconds or so, I will close the other session. Let me go to that screen right now and make sure that I refresh. I will refresh the screen right at 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So any bidding that come in after I refresh the screen at 10 o'clock sharp will not be counted, okay? So I'm gonna wait until I see 10 o'clock, refresh it once so that everything is as most recent as possible and then it is over, okay? Right to go, here we go. 10 o'clock, refresh once, that's it. Bidding is over. Okay, so whatever bidding that show up after this point is not gonna count because I don't see it on my screen. I have refreshed the screen for the last time. Okay, so here we go. Let me recap who won each lot and then we move on to session three. Okay, let me call up my spreadsheet here. First up, we have the Silver Age Flash. Only one person bid. Felix, you want it for five bucks. Okay, next up would be Modern Hulk. Modern Hulk. Felix again for one dollar. Get yourself five modern books. Fantastic Four. $23. Miguel. Okay, Miguel. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Let's see, uh, Fantastic Four, right here, $23, Miguel, okay, Copper Hulk, Miguel, wow, just got it in there. Okay, let's see, 25 for Hulk. Like I said, I refreshed the screen 10 o'clock sharp, okay, so, if I see it on the screen, that means that you got it in just in time. If you bid after I refresh the screen, that means that I don't see your bid, okay? So Miguel, 25, is a winner of the Hulk. Marvel Tarzan, Felix won that one at $7. Tarzan, $7, Felix. Okay, and then here, okay, let's see, Star Trek, Felix at $12. And then DC War Book, let's see who won that one. Ooh, Daniel got in there just last bidder, Daniel at $28. DC War, $28. Nope. Oh no. Space Baby. Daniel, you did not see Space Baby uh, bid earlier at 34. So actually the highest bid is 34 by Space Baby. Uh, kind of weird. It's kind of weird that the newest one didn't show up. Let's see. I just want to make sure I get if I'm if I make a mistake in who won the lot. Let me know and I will review what I did, okay? Next up would be Spider Woman. I'm looking through the list. Spider Woman 39. Look like John Pomfret won it. John Pomfret won it at 39. And last lot would be Teen Titans. Uh, let's see, Teen Titans. Who won Teen Titans? Drowning PLC. Is it drowning? Yep. Drowning PLC at 25. Okay, so uh, let me make sure I get every. Like I said, if you think I made a mistake, just contact me, make a post a comment, and I will take a look. But like I said, if your comment does not show up on. Um, my, my screen right now, that means that you bid after I refresh the screen at 10 a.m. So there we go. I think I got everything correct. So let's move on to 
the third session. Uh, Daniel, let's see. Yeah, Daniel, for some reason, uh, Space Baby bit didn't show up on your screen. That's my guess, okay? Because if I look at my screen, I see that for that lot, Space Baby placed his bed, his bid, not his bed, his bid, uh, and a, a, a minute, like about 45 seconds before you did at 34. Even at two minutes, he put in a 31 bit twice. So I'm not sure if you didn't see that bit, but he did bit three times in the last two minutes before 10 a.m. Twice at 31 to make sure, <laughs> and once at 34, and somehow you didn't see it on your screen. So my advice to people is that if you sit there with your screen and uh, wait to bid, make sure you refresh your screen because if someone else bid, okay, if someone else bid and you didn't refresh your screen, then you don't see that bid. Just saying. My guess, Daniel, that's what happened with your screen is that you didn't refresh the last two or three minutes and the, the space baby put the bid in and you didn't see it. Okay, so that's the thing. So the key is for those that want to snipe, refresh your screen, screen 10 seconds before you put your bid in so that you see the latest bid. All right. Um, yes. Sometimes my brain does work correctly as far as logic thinking. Okay, session three start right now and session three will end 10 a.m. Thursday, okay? So for those that want to know what's going on, 10 a.m. Thursday, same format. I will start out the chat just like I did right here, closing the chat, put down who win the books and then show the books. So right up, first lot is Nova, okay? Three books, issue six, it's about an 8.5, uh, the, the worst hair, the worst flaw is like a quarter inch spine split right here, okay? Otherwise, the book would have been probably a 9.2. Beautiful book, you can see, and then that little tear right there. So that's the first issue, issue nine, beautiful book, as you can see. As always with these uh, auction, none of these books has been ever pressed or clean. I don't have time for this kind of stuff. But issue um, issue nine and issue twenty four is probably at least a nine two. Okay, beautiful, sharp looking book for sure. There's a couple of uh, spine ticks here that probably can clean up. If you want to press and clean and all that stuff, but there you go. So that's the first lot. Lot A, lot A, Nova, three Nova. Lot B is just um, seventeen issue of Burn, John Burn, Superman. Okay. As with the other two session, if I run across additional issues. I put them in and you want extra books. So don't be surprised if you, after you get the books from me, you get one or two extra books, just like the DC War. I found, I think two extra copy laying around and I stuck it in there. So whoever, the, uh, so my, the, the Space Baby, DC War, there are a few extra issues. So you get issue one. Now these are, you know, eight, the average grade is like an eight. Okay, nothing fancy, but you get issue one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Nine, great cover right here. 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, and 20, and 22. Okay, so there you go. 17 issue of John Byrne. The lowest would be probably an eight. There might be some nines in there, but does it matter? Does it matter that these books are nine two or eight point five? Okay, so good readers. If you have never read John Byrne version of X Men uh, of uh, Superman, here you go. So that's lot B. Okay, let me organize things here so that it doesn't fall over and tumble all over the place. Okay. Lot C would be John Byrne Alpha Flight. There is eight issue, nothing special. There is issue one in there, but as you can see, issue one is about a, a 7 0, okay? Nothing high grade right here, okay? About 7 0. Uh, let me take it out of the bag. Might as well. Okay. There's a crease right there. You can see the spine have a couple of dings right there, right there. Like I said, nothing high grade here. Okay. Good read copy, I would say. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Can it be higher than a seven? Does it matter? So issue one, two, five, six, 13, 17, and then 25 and 37 there you go eight issue of alpha flight okay let me check this thing here okay our adam davis asked how much is shipping is with everything shipping shipping is exactly the cost to wherever you are so if you live outside the u.s and you want me to ship it to you, I will find out what the exact cost is, and then you pay the exact cost. Um, so as far as, so how much is shipping? Whatever the exact cost is of priority mail. I'm not shipping anything, anything, medium mail is not worth saving five, $10 on shipping and get into trouble with the post office. So everything will be priority mail. I will weigh everything. Um, the way things gonna work is after everything is done, people give me the address, I will weigh every box, figure out exactly how much the shipping cost is. I will then invoice each person, say, okay, here's the book that you want. Here's the exact cost of shipping it to you. And that's my PayPal or money order or whatever, so. Uh, am I selling any silver age keys? Depend on what you consider keys, but let me move on to doing what I'm doing. Next up is uh, lot D. Okay, this is lot D, and this has one, two, three, four, five, six, six high grade bronze age flash. Okay. They're really nice. I mean, these books are 9.4-ish, okay? Can it be even higher than 9.4? Yes, but let me take a couple out of the bag so that you can see, okay? I'm trying to move along as fast as I can, so pardon me if I don't answer a specific question. Look at that, look at how razor sharp that bottom edge and corner is, right? Look at that, look at that spine. Yes, you can see one or two spine tick right there, right? But the rest of the book, super sharp. Nothing in the back, see? 9-4, okay? Easy, easy 9-4. So that's one. 
let me give you a look at another one. So first of all, you got issue 260. Okay. And then let's see, do I have it in order here? 260, 266, 267. Let's pull out another random book. 264, okay. Let's pull this one out and take a look. This one is another 9-4 stunner, okay. Look at that, razor sharp corner. Beautiful spine. If you are a high grade Bronx DC collector, look at that, huh? Easy 9.4, easy, okay? This book can probably be even 9.6, maybe even higher, who knows? I wrote down 9.6 as a grade, but. And then you have uh, issue 265, okay, another beauty. Gorgeous high grade. This one's a stunner. Okay, I just should I? Why not? I want to see. I want to show the people exactly what I mean by beautiful nine four nine six. Okay. There you go. Just take a look at the dark bottom edge there. Beautiful. Okay. Like I said, at least nine four. Most likely nine six. But look at that razor sharp. Beautiful book. Okay, and last is this 25 center 238. This one is more like, a, I believe this one is most likely the lowest grade copy. It might be 75, okay? I don't think this is, this is the lowest grade one, but also the oldest one. So you got uh, five super high grade, near mint kind of condition, and then one 70 ish 75 ish okay so there you go that's lot d for bronze flash okay perez said i missed previous sessions yes you did js said that he's selling his First comic book on Comic Link. Good luck, my friend. Well, if you're not into Bronx Ace Flash, then nothing I can do for you. Next up is Gold Key Dr. Solar. Okay, so not sure if anybody care, but here we go. Let me see the condition of these. Okay, I'm not. This one, the first, this one here is actually quite nice, okay? I would say it is uh, at least a seven, as you can see, at least a seven five. Take a look, this short is a couple spine ticks, okay? No doubt that's the worst of the flaws, all the spine ticks, but no major corner creases or anything like that. Look at the back cover, nice and clean. The back cover is actually nicer than the front. Look at that. Okay. As far as the issue, you number nine, 1964, number nine. So that's one. So this is uh, Dr. Solar Lot E, okay, Lot E, Dr. Solar. And then the other issue, this one is actually lower grade. This is, I put it as a 4.0, okay. Okay, so this one here, no idea what issue this is, and I'm too lazy to look. Regardless, I think it's like issue 17 or something like that. Make no sense as far as the numbering, but does it matter? No. So that's it for this lot. Just two issue of Solar. Well, one is, uh, well, Dr. Solar. 
Okay, so there you go. That's lot E. Lot F, one book, lot F. Jungle Comics, there we go. Crease is here. I would give this book, uh, let me see. I would give this book uh, a 3.5-ish in gray. This moisture damage right there, okay, at this corner right here, okay. There's long creases over here. Staple are nice and tight. It's cover attach. Okay, can it be a four? Sure. But you can see the page quality of this book. Slightly yellow in the interior of the cover. Nothing crazy. Nothing heavily tan or anything like that. Okay, so here's the back cover interior where you see the water damage on the back. Okay. The water also get onto some of the pages. Okay, you can see a little water tight line right here. So there you go, Jungle Comics. Uh, what issue? Issue 154, for those that can't see the number, 154. So that's it, just one book for lot F. Next up, a couple Charlton Steve Ditko. I have no idea. Blue Beetle, Captain Adam, okay? Captain Adam. This one here, I think it's decent. Um, Mid-grade for sure. Staple strong. Uh, slightly tan interior of the back cover, okay? You can see it, okay? But as far as the page quality of the interior, it's definitely off-white to white, okay? Nice looking interior. This is Captain Adam, what issue is this? V volume two, number 79, 1966, there you go. Okay, I say the book is easily um, 4.5, if not 5.0, okay? Re really clean book. Can it be 5.5 five even? Maybe. Does it matter? I let you I let you decide. Jungle, I think I mentioned that number, right? So I think I answered your question. Okay, the blue beetle is pretty nice. Okay. Really nice. Look at that. Adam Davis, if you don't know, there is no bidding in the chat. The bidding takes place after the chat is over, okay? For those that are new to the auction, I'm showing the books, I'm showing all the lots. When it is over, give me about 15 minutes, you will see, I will post uh, the, the, the location in the comment section on where you will bid for each lot. There's no bidding here. Beautiful, very bright color. Nice white back cover. Okay, I would say that this book is, uh, I would say it at least a 7.0, at least. Okay, could it be higher? Sure. It's gonna be even like an eight oh sure, but I'm I'm gonna be fair and give it a seven to seven five. Okay, and this is issue number three, 1967. Okay. After further review, I give this book a seven five because it's looking really tight. Okay, so that's it. Two Charlton Ditko book. These two books, I have no idea if anybody care, but as I, two issue of The Shadow. I have no idea, they are low grade, okay, nothing worth taking out the bag. Um, you know, uh, as I mentioned in session one and two, 
whatever have no bid will go into a free box that will be given away at the end. Okay, so I don't I have some of this stuff, they might be old, like this is an Archie 12 cent silver age, but who knows if anybody even care about them, okay? So that's lot H. Lot G were Charlton Ditko. To Chip and Dale, lot I, okay? Decent, decent book, okay? This, this is, look at that. Decent. Can this be seven five? Yeah. Easy, easy seven five, okay? And then the other issue is, is about the same condition, I say, you know, but yeah. So two Walt Disney, Chip and Dale is lot I, all right? I'll take them both out of the bag so that you can see the other book. Condition, pretty sweet. No big creases, right? This one, okay, some look like somebody trying to erase something. So I'm gonna knock this one down to a seven, okay? Because it looked like somebody wrote a date or something right here and somebody trying to erase it so the yellow is get rubbed off. So this is a seven, this is a seven five-ish, okay? And that's lot I, lot J is Fantastic Four, a different lot that I had compared to the previous lot. And this one had mostly, well, mostly John Byrne, okay? Uh, this one has 14 books. Start out with annual 17, okay? And these are all middle, mid grade. This, they might be some high grade, but you no, know, average grade might be like an eight. Annual uh, 18, so annual 18 and 17. Issue 240, it's actually it's nice. Actually 240 is like more like a, could be a nine or nine two, doesn't matter. 241. I love this cover. 248. Oh no, not two, that's 246. 248 is this one. 253 is actually nice as well, you know, because it was in the bags and board. Uh, it looked like it's a nine ish. Love this cover. 270, first appearance of whatever this character is. 270. This one is actually quite nice. It's, uh, even though it's not in the bags or board, there is no, uh, you know, no corner creases. Look at that. Okay, nice and tight corner and edges. Okay. Nice spine, not that many spine tick. I say it is, um, the back cover is actually decent. You know, I, I said the book is at least a nine, if not a nine two, you know, when you have this kind of back cover with a doll black, it's surprising. It's surprising that this book without backs and board did not ding up the black back cover. Look at that, that area should get, would have been mango, okay? 271. And then I had five duplicates Walt Simonson book that uh, I didn't want to throw into the other lot because then, they, you know, who need two of these, this, right? So there's five more issues. So you got 337, 338, 339, 340, and 341. Okay, so that five. So that makes 14 FF book. Okay. So that's lot J, J. We need the end, folks. Lot J. Okay, so there you go. 14 John Byrne and Simonson FF. Three high grade Star War for lot K. Okay, issue 11, 14, and 16. They're all high grade. They're all like nine four nine six ish. 
okay? But I'll take it out of the bag to show you. This is like a 9.4, okay? Look at that, nice and sharp corner. There's a couple of spine tick right there, okay? That's why it's a 9.4, okay? All right. One, let me take one more out of the bag. So you got 14 and 16, okay? So let's take, let's take the Walt Samuelson cover and show you issue 16. This one, this one is beautiful. This is like a 9.6 as well. Okay, you can see, nice, beautiful book. All right, and we come down to the last lot. So three Star Wars, lot K, and now we're down to the last lot of this session, lot L. Is Silver Age Ghost Rider. I have eight issue. Here you go. Issue one, I, I will take it out of the bag. Issue one, two, Well, issue one, uh, I have two issue three. Okay, so issue three, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay, so there's two seven and two three. There's eight issues. There's no two. Okay, but three, four, five, six seven okay there's two threes and two seven and uh they um i will take some out of the bag to show you so that you know what kind of great but the most important book is of course issue one right issue one is about a three oh okay nothing high grade here it's a it's, it has some moisture damage on the back cover you can see look at the spine wear Okay, lot of spine wear there. Corner thing there. I graded it as a three. Could it be a three five? Maybe. There's some moisture creases. Okay, look at your, there you go. The moisture damage right there. But other than that, so that issue one. Silver Age Ghost Rider. Let me pull out two other books so that you can see in general what you're bidding on. Issue three is actually fairly decent. Let me give you one look at issue three, one of the issue three. I give it a 6.0, it's a grade, okay? The worst flaw is right there. There's like a two inch, two and a half inch corner crease right there, okay? But as you can see, the spine is pretty nice, yeah? Upper edge and corner, pretty sharp, right? Yeah, that's why, there you go. Back cover, super clean. Can it be higher as a 6.5? Sure, but there you go. That give you an idea of what you're buying as far as this lot of mid-grade Silver Age Ghost Rider. Um, issue one is of course low grade, a 3.0, but let me let me take a look at issue seven. Okay, the nicer uh, issue seven is right here. This is the last book I will show. We have two issue three and two issue seven. Okay, and this one here is. Six five, okay. I give it a six five. Could it be a seven? Sure. Look at that corner ding right there. A little thumb crease right there, but that's it. Nice sharp corner, very minor rubbing on the top edge, right? 
Look at the spine. Yeah. Back cover, super clean. All right, there you go. Okay, so a very nice mid-grade lot of Ghost Rider, Silver Age with, you know, some mid-grade. The, the other book, wow, this one I gave even higher. Let's give you one more look, issue six. I give this one a 7.5. Take a look. And that's it. Very nice looking lot of Silver Age Ghost Rider. Uh, I will close the chat right now and then give me about 10 minutes, okay? Before you, you can see the, the, the comment that I would say bit here for lot A, B, C, D, all that stuff. So um, hopefully everything looked good. Uh, if you have any question, feel free to post a comment like anything specific about any specific book. I will do my best to answer the questions. Thank you for watching. And just a reminder, this auction session will end 10 a.m. on Thursday, okay? Uh, if there's a change in time, I will let you know. Speaking of which, before I go, let me look. I look at my schedule. I think I have something going on that might, just wanna double check my calendar. I should be okay. I just look. I should be okay. Hopefully. Okay, so see you all Thursday, 10 a.m. sharp. Bye-bye.